We're trying to save the planet, but we might end up in bankruptcy. <laughs> it's Wednesday, 10 o'clock in the morning. Go to the beach for the day. I found another way to save us some interest. You don't know diddly squat about money. My name is Carson, I'm the sales development manager. My name is Ivy, I'm totally kid focused, I love being an at home mom. I've been married five years and I have two sons, Dexter who is three and Brigsby who is one. Last summer we were really living up the high life. I was still getting paid and Carson was still getting some, some bigger checks in from his business but was really slowing down operations because he knew he was going to take like a conventional nine to five job. So I was really putting in only a few hours a week to really spend as much family time as possible. Go to the beach for the day and things like that. The funds we had back then should have been going to pay Carson's income tax but We'd go to the organic butcher and go buy $60 worth of ribs and go buy organic beer and just living it up on the deck. We probably spend $800 to $1,000 a month on grocery bills. We're trying to buy organic. You know, we're trying to buy fair trade bananas so that people aren't being underprivileged and we might end up in bankruptcy <laughs> buying fair trade bananas. You find yourself at a point when it's like, holy crap, right? This, this is really added up. We started dipping into the line of credit. And you just keep on taking a little bit more out of it here and there. And you feel kind of okay about it because it's a better interest rate. For the past several months, I've been the one who's been, you know, physically paying the bills. And uh, they haven't been getting paid on time and stuff. Me and numbers never really got along very well. We should be able to afford me being a stay-at-home mom. The related stress, it's always there. It's like a noise that you can't stop. If all this line of credit garbage ends up losing us our house, obviously it's not worth it. Gail, we need you to be tough. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Ivy and Carson have been living on one income, but didn't cut back on their spending. They haven't added up the cost of their family-focused lifestyle. So I'm here to help them choose some priorities. Hi. Hi. Gail Foss Oxley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ivy. Hi, Gail, I'm Carson. <laughs> You don't have a lot of fancy stuff in your house. A three-year-old and a one-year-old will kind of get in the way of fancy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. So, what'd you spend all the money on? <sighs> How much did you pay for this fancy dancy stroller? Oh, that was a gift. But we do have another fancy dancy stroller. All right, you have two strollers. Well, oh. no, I don't drive. So the big stroller is so that I can fill it with groceries and go do shopping and stuff like that. The little stroller so I can bring it on transit. It's a pretty little house. And you eat a lot of organic stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, we try. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> organic vodka. Again, not a lot of fancy stuff. A bed, a chair, and two side tables. Where has the money gone? First of all, you're a very charming couple. Well, thanks. Thanks. And you're very good together. Hmm. Thanks. So if you're both intelligent, educated, and capable, which you are, why aren't you doing just the straight up stuff you should be doing? We, we're so reactive. We'll get our bills and we start freaking out. And we're like, oh my God, we can't live like this. We have to figure something out. And yeah. then we do nothing. Yeah. We just drop the ball. Or we do it for a week and then we settle back in. Right. Yeah. So. Well, you don't perceive that there's any way you could be generating an income while you're taking care of those kids. I'm actually planning on going back to work pretty soon. Okay. Because I'm, well, we're having another baby. You're pregnant? Yeah. Yes. It's oh, very, freak. very new. We better hurry up and fix this <laughs> then. Life adds up. You're spending $900 a month on groceries. 
because you're we're buying eating. organic. Yeah. And organic food is very expensive. About twice as much. And it's not like we're buying anything fancy. It's not like we're buying organic foie gras and caviar. We're buying, oh, you know what I mean? Gee willikers, you're not buying organic foie gras. Which is really? Good job. But you know what? There are people out there who eat organic that aren't spending this. And let's face it, if you're doing this for the kids, the kids eat this much of the food that you bring You'd into be this surprised. house. Don't start with me. The kids eat this much. You have a three-year-old and you're at your breastfeeding. $860 a month in cash, yeah. and we can't tell where this cash no. is going. You're spending $4,300 a month on life. Yeah. What you've done is you've just continued to spend as if you were a double-income family. You're not cutting back anywhere. Nowhere. You're not cutting back. You have about $32,000 worth of debt. It's higher now. The line of credit is more. Call it's over it, 20. Call now. it 2021. So you're actually up to about $34,000. Yeah, approximately. Never mind the taxes. Mm -hmm. You're not even making your minimum no, payments. We're just paying the interest mm -hmm. on the line of credit. But just on the line of credit, you're not even dealing with some of your debt. Yep. But then on our credit cards, though, we are paying the full balance. Don't start with me. What are you using to pay the full balance on your credit cards, Ivy? You're using yeah. your line of credit. Yeah. Sometimes. Just stop. I know. That's more but. That's a big but. That's part of the complacency that's getting you into this problem. Now I'm going back to work now, so it does seem more manageable. Yeah, but you but see. But it still sucks. But All my income's going to here's, here's the thing, okay? You can always find a reason. I'm holding you by yeah, the ear. Yeah, I'm glad you grabbed okay. my ear too. You can always find a reason for doing what it is you do. So like, I'm pinching you. Yeah, I'm saying to you, yes. <laughs> I'm saying to you, wake up. You're not taking seriously how much risk there is here. Something that really hit home with me is when she started grabbing me and my husband. She's pulling on my hair and grabbing on Carson's ears. It's a bit much, but I guess that's her approach. You have been overspending every month by $2,100. In five years, you will owe $540,000. And so will you do anything I ask? High five. <laughs> We're in like Flynn. Okay, so over the next few weeks, I'm gonna give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction. We'll get up to $5,000 to help you pay down this debt. <laughs> don't do what I ask you, you don't get the money. This is about, are you ready to change? We are going to get you in touch with the realities of your financial situation. We're gonna get you on a debt repayment plan that will actually work. And we're gonna get you working together for the success of the family. Coming up, Ivy's still living in La La Land. You can't believe you're overspending by that much, but those are your numbers, Ivy. Money, 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 money. This couple has closed their eyes to the realities of living on only one income. We allow ourselves to not do anything about it. And they're spending way too much time thinking about the wrong kind of green. Why are you spending $190 a month in the drugstore? The drugstore has an organic section. <laughs> now the bills are mounting. You're spending $4,300 a month on life. Yeah. They can justify anything by saying nothing's too good for this family. You always have a good reason. You guys are great at the butt! She was pretty much bang on in her assessment, and sometimes you need someone to really point out the real picture. Now they'll have to do things my way. No ifs, ands, or buts. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. Give me those cards. <sighs> you learn to live on cash. I'm cutting your variable spending by 70%. Mm. Instead of having $4,500 a month, you're going to have $1,400 a month. $150 a week. For food, $600 a month compared to the $1,100 a month you were spending. Does that include diapers? Yes, this is groceries and personal care. Okay. Okay. $117 a week for transportation, $25 a week for entertainment, $25 a week for clothing and gifts. It's my birthday this month. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and $27 a week for other things like cat food. Okay. 
It's going to be difficult following $25 a week on gifts. Hopefully we're not invited to too many things. <laughs> this is your first challenge. Okay. It's the life lesson challenge. You have to do a budget that balances for when you go back to work. And you also have to do a budget for, that balances for when you go back to being a single income family. Number two, I want you to investigate whether you can consolidate your debt to your mortgage. And I've saved my favorite for the end. Little Miss Organic. <laughs> Guess what the best way to ensure that your veggies are totally pesticide free is? Grow them yourself. Grow them yourself. There's some seeds. All right. We're gonna give you some money. You've always been very reactive. It's time for you to be proactive. Brigsby's ready, Dexter's ready. We don't purport to be better earthlings than anybody else. We're just, we're doing what we think is right. Not all at okay. once now, guys. <laughs> you wanna help? I'm Good. happy to, to have to do a garden, okay. and it's great because it also teaches the kids about where food comes from. If we could drop Dexter off at kindergarten in the morning, we can actually save quite a bit of money instead of just handing us a budget. It's great that she's actually imparted that on us. It'll make us understand it a lot more, and I think it'll make more sense that way. I just wanted to pay for my consumer debt, so I was hoping that we could maybe roll it onto our uh, mortgage. So you did budgets? I did four budgets. I know you asked for two, but yeah. because... Um... There's variable situations. Yeah. Okay, so show me. Okay. Ivy did budget for the many changes to their cash flow in the upcoming 18 months when she plans to be a stay-at-home mom once again. But we hit a snag when I asked about their debt repayments. Have you done the mortgage renewal yet? Um, no. We well, we have all the documents, okay. but I found another way to save us some interest because we have a promotional rate of 3.99 on a credit card. It just seems like a gyration again. Mm -hmm. My best advice is right. to use the mortgage. Not only did Ivy disagree with my strategy for handling their debt, but she questioned my five-year prognosis. It's my line of credit statement that really is the one that... Can you explain that, right? If, if we've overspent by, by that over six we months, over, right? We should have over $12,000 extra on our line of credit. Your budget says you're overspending by $2,200. Here, I'm just going to be right you back. I need a calculator. I've seen this behavior before. Questioning their own numbers is simple right. avoidance. Three, four, because if the numbers are wrong, then there's no reason for them to change their ways. Five. Okay, Ivy, I can't do this forever. That's typical of what you guys have been displaying to me. What you've been displaying is but. But that can't be right. But those are your numbers, Ivy. Yeah, but that's from months ago. But that's from months ago. If you were this good at this, I wouldn't even be here. Well, you don't know diddly squat about money because if you could fill out a budget showing you're overspending by $2,100 and I can't believe that two smart people on a regular basis can't make a budget and come up with one that balances, that's huge denial. I, I know where you're coming from and maybe part of what you know we need and other people might need is a, is a good kick in the butt and I'll be the first one to admit that. But I wouldn't pinch you. I uh, wouldn't pull your hair to make a point, nor would I with anybody else I work with. We wouldn't expect okay. that so, from our children. You're obfuscating on caca, focusing on where I touched you, focusing on what I said, when what we're really dealing with is the reality of your crappy numbers. Ultimately, the only thing that's important is what you're prepared to do from this point forward. But you have to tell me that I'm not wasting my time. You're not. Okay? No, we're, how many more high fives or pinky swears <laughs> do you know. want? I'm not touching you! <laughs> now that they're finished shooting the messenger, it's time to get on with the message. So, Miss Ivy, yeah. you are fully committed to this organic food thing? Yeah. This week's your future plan challenge has a few parts. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to price out where you get your organic food and where you can get the stuff the cheapest. Okay within your area. And eating fresh, so eating locally grown food, yeah. is way better for you. And sometimes locally grown food isn't stamped organic, but it in fact is. Yeah, we do that sometimes okay. actually, we, from so the Mennonites. Keep that in mind, Yeah. okay? Part two of your challenge. Carson cannot be responsible for all the pickups and drop-offs of the children, all the grocery shopping schlepping. He can drive you to the supermarket. Uh -huh. You have to drive home. This is sort of how you guys live your lives. You don't do any of the things you don't want to do. Coming up, hell on wheels. Okay. So to make sure you're not gonna run over anybody in the intersection. Money, 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 money.
Money, 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 money. Ivy and Carson know what kind of lifestyle they want to lead. What they haven't figured out is how to pay for it. In five years, you will owe $540,000. And they're having trouble separating fantasy from reality when it comes to their debt. I know that when they're coming up with that big five-year figure, they're gonna pat it. I know there's a sense that we're making TV here, mm -hmm. but it's very, very real. Slashing their spending by 70% should have convinced them just how real this is. The amount of money that we are apparently overspending by just doesn't add up with our line of credit. Apparently overspending? Looks like we still have a way to go. That's too many onions. This week, I challenged them to find ways to cut back on the cost of eating organic. We found a farm vendor who supplies a lot of non-sprayed foods um, at really good prices. It's organic for all intents and purposes. They're just non-certified. And uh, I think I'm going to cancel my delivery. Because Ivy was afraid to drive, she had her food delivered for a price. Part two of her challenge was to finally put her learner's permit to good use and get back behind the wheel. It just worked into this big, stressful event that I've just carried on for my whole life. And I've also been in a car accident. I think that kind of just added to the pile. A little slower. A little slower. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's OK. Hi, <laughs> Chris. You're a happy girl. I'm so oh, happy we didn't just, quit the yeah. show. <laughs> no. that, that's going to be really life-changing for me. It's, Absolutely. It goes like over and beyond just the obvious benefits of driving. It's, um, you know, independence. Feel the fear yeah. and do it anyway. Yeah. So, you're a funny guy, and God knows, Ivy, you're a funny girl. So you're wondering why we are in this here? Funny place. We are. We're in a funny place. Yeah. Your next challenge is your relationship rescue challenge. Wow. You have to do a comedy routine. All right. You're going to do it for a real audience. OK. You're going to have to work together to deal with the reality mm -hmm. of your circumstances in a funny way. OK. We're going to We're on the money with people. funny, oh, just not just on just the money with the me. budget. No, right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Turns out Ivy and Carson aren't the only funny people with money problems. I was at the level where I had to go window shopping at Dollarama. <laughs> <laughs> The guy actually threatened at one point. He goes, hey, if you don't pay us back in full, I'm going to call your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy and Carson. <laughs> We're all in debt here, right? <laughs> but I need it. But I can't live without it. But it's for the kids. But it's on sale. But my credit card gives me reward points. <laughs> but, but, but. <laughs> We did need a kick in the good old organic walnuts to get us started, so. You should have seen the looks of the other drivers' faces when you came down their side of the road. Yeah. I hope that we've inspired some of you today to face your debt and get rid of it. That's all we have. Cheers. Thank you. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. But. 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 <laughs> Stop. I think Carson are far better at justifying their spending than controlling it. You're not cutting back anywhere. You're not cutting back. They lived on my budget, but I'm not sure they bought into the rest of the process. I'll have to crunch numbers. I guess it could get to that, but... We're on board, 100%. Prove that to me by the end of the month, okay? So you guys were pretty funny. <laughs> well, we did our best. Yeah. yeah. We really did, yeah. Yeah. So what'd you learn this month? How to drive. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, a lot. Um, moving ahead with a plan. So you're headed to a good place. I think so. We're well under budget, and like it's awesome. Good. Yeah. Well, when I got here, you were overspending by about $2,100 a month. Yeah. A lot of pushback on that. Yeah. And you were headed to about $500,000 worth of debt if you had stayed on that track. Right. So I got you to make some budgets that will help you to adjust how you're spending as your income changes. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're also on a pretty aggressive debt repayment plan that sees you completely debt free by the time Ivy is without an income again. And I got you using your considerable cohesiveness positively. Today, I have for you a check for $3,000. Mm -hmm. But I also, I'm gonna to propose to you, track what you're doing with your money over the next three months, 
send me a record of what you have done mm -hmm. so I can see that you're sticking to the plan. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that, I'll give you another $1,000. Gail, is this because we asked you questions? Not at all, because people ask me questions all the time. I want to see whether you're in fact going to stick to a plan. Mm -hmm. And if you do stick to the plan, you get the money. Mm -hmm. But if you don't stick but to the plan, that's what you get. get that's right, because part of this whole thing is my perception of how much you have bought into all of this. You are the first couple who has adamantly refused to accept the fact that you were overspending. No, once once I saw that your numbers matched mine, because there was something wrong. We See, just once you it. saw that my numbers but matched yours. But when you showed us the screen, I'm sorry, I couldn't even take a look because you're grabbing at my hair, okay. right? I mean, we could do this all day. No, I know, but I'm just it, it, saying. It is what it is. This is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So good luck. Thank you. Thank okay. You. We're staying on our course no matter what, but I'm not 100% sure we want to deal with Gail anymore. <laughs> we, we could be done, we'll see. I just couldn't gel with her personality. I just think she's really abrasive. And uh, so I guess that's part of the issue. That's the main issue here, right? Not exactly. This is about, are you ready to change? That was the issue, but some people never get it.